The woman from the book of Genesis that intrigued me the most was Rebecca. Um, overall, I find her to be extremely manipulative and a horrible model of a mother and wife. The specific story that stood out to me starts in Genesis 27, verse 6 through 17, where Rebecca helps her son Jacob deceive her husband from her other son Esau's birthright. It is stated that Jacob is Rebecca's favorite, and although favoritism does happen in families, um, I think that Rebecca and Jacob's relationship allowed for uh, her manipulative and deceitful traits to kind of seep into Jacob's character. And that is apparent when he decides on his own to fulfill her wishes and does not stand up for what is right and say no. Uh, her caution is apparent in Genesis 27 verse 13 when she says, let the curse fall on me, as if that will make the outcome any better for either party. Rebecca is an immature woman and mother, and I find her to be a horrible example when it comes to being an honest woman and faithful wife. She broke trust with her husband and showed more love and admiration for Jacob than her own husband, and continued to pursue manipulative tactics to gain, to gain sympathy, as shown in Genesis 27 verse 46, when she complains about Jacob's potential wife and life having no meaning. I think this resulted in the attention being taken off of the present situation of Jacob leaving and Esau's anger and um, her husband's confusion and instead focused on her false emotions. Um, the citation from Ellen Davis's chapter, but surely not those, the Psalms of Cursing that stood out to me, is the special poignancy of the Cursing Psalms stems from the fact that the enemies are not faceless. There are people well known to the psalmist, even dear friends, from whom he has every reason to expect love in return for his own. This stood out to me because it points out how we usually are hurt by those close to us, um, even though we expect love from them at all moments. Her claim regarding the, the imprecatory psalms to me is first identifying that you have something that is capable of being disturbed inside your own emotions. Recognizing that you have an issue with someone, especially someone that is close to you, expresses the level of emotion tied to that person. And um, there would be no lamenting towards someone that meant nothing to you. The emotion that you feel ignites the negative reaction when someone says or does something that you are not expecting and or do not agree with. And being able to express yourself with full disclosure allows your mind and heart to react and figure out what the trigger is and why it is affecting you. Bringing this forward in prayer allows you to hold the degree of healing that you are seeking based off the level of honesty, honesty you intend to hold.